Hi, this is Mia. Um, I'm just working on my timesheet that was due yesterday. Oopsie. I want to show you the sun. Um, oh shoot, I don't think you can even see it. I don't know what you could see because I don't have a camera camera. Um, oh, it's hot. I turned the car off, truck off. I wanted to just share briefly about um, our old pastors. And I'll try to keep it anonymous. Um, I know I had some problems with that church and um, I had been sexually assaulted while I was on volunteering in the audio team. And I, it took a year for me to quit because I kept saying I'm not doing this team. And so it was um, something I couldn't tell the pastors. They yelled at me for quitting when I told the leader, the one who was the the bad guy um I shouldn't even laugh but that I needed them to get somebody else and they kept saying oh talk about it later I'm busy I talk about it later I'm busy and they're like call me oh I'm too busy uh talk about it after church after church oh I'm too busy call me during the week so it was that game so I ended up to say I had to quit not even just because of that assault but because of the kids running around as me as a single mom volunteering three to five days Sundays a month that's maybe at least me one Sunday because I have some Sundays or some months with five days so I left this place so I want to keep it anonymous but I want to take it with a grain of salt what I did learn and if it's the voice of God or the voice of wisdom or the voice of reason or just ignorance maybe I'm learning maybe I'm saying the wrong thing but I had wanted to buy land personally since I sold my house in 2001 in West Virginia. I sold my house in about three acres and my ex-husband negotiated the rate and pretty much gave it away for $5,000. Now, I could see someone buying land in the middle of nowhere that doesn't have any services and no house and no shed and no garage and for 5000 maybe swamp land or something but that is ridiculous that is absolutely probably should have been at least 50,000 if not back then maybe 15,000 at least 20,000 um, anything more than 10,000 if you're going to be nice to someone um, anyways that's a different story it's too late it's gone I had um, I had hoped when my tattoo of the what goes around comes around with the sun in the middle that sun that orange thing in the sky you can't see and the purple everyone is connected to royalty because of being a descendant of slaves and being oppressed not just in the u.s but around the world not just being african-american but many dark people um Someone was talking about slums and poverty in different countries. And they're saying, well, that's a worse problem than you dealing with or this or that. And do you realize that's the same oppression? Those, those are dark people. Those are not Westerners. Their land has been exploited. And yes, there's people there that are wealthy that are selling their land, exploiting it. Just like Africa was stripped of not only just the land and diamonds and gold and resources and the wood people so back to the story I I don't I want to go into more detail but I'm not on my actual break break I just got to get out and go look for trash and get to the next site oh and I want to go through the list of see how many I can get to in a day I'm pretty tired but I got better sleep last night thank god I didn't want to get up this morning though it's it's like tired sore throaty oh my god I'm overwhelmed if I rest my eyes a minute I'm gonna sleep through the alarm or maybe I already turned the alarm off kind of morning like you better wake up um oh shoot I can't think of what time I actually need to wake up that happened yesterday too too early today too late um so these people I believe they owned a house in Washington state and they sold that house and bought land in the suburbs near Sandy Oregon and I, be I believe it was a new development they bought land and got um, 
funding or paid for a construction of a three or four, I think it was a four bedroom house. Cause I feel like one room is an office. So. They had two, three kids, so two were girls. I feel like it was an office, master bedroom. Uh, Cause they must, sometimes people, yeah, they probably move their kids out of, of sharing a room and put them in the office. They had a huge laundry room that was almost like the size of a bedroom, a two story house with a good size yard. Enough that you could garden in the back and in the sides. Um, they took over this church and they had a vision of being pastors and not paying social security and not waiting until like other people do 60 something to get social security. So they said they're gonna buy a cabin and another, buy or build another cabin, another cabin, another cabin get the income from the rental, provide a beautiful place for people, absolutely spotless clean. They can be near the beach or the river, or I mean, sorry, yeah, the river or the mountain, more starting with mountains and rivers. So they got, um, it's weird because it it's in a neighborhood that had tennis pool, tennis, tennis court and pool. They were gonna buy a frame <coughs> and they, thought it had mold damage because it was the way that it was facing in the not in the sunlight it was moist and they would have had to pay a bunch of money for the small a-frame on a small lot and remodel it or remedy the moisture damage and they said it's going to be cheaper to build a house now this mind you is before the stock market and all the weird stuff happened zero eight zero it was probably more like zero five than when they did this zero four zero five, maybe zero three. They started before, um, right when I started going to church in zero two thousand three. I don't know when they started, but we learned the story. And anyways, they said there's a lot for sale next door, and it said for sale, like why don't we just buy this lot and build it? So they're looking at this a frame that's raggedy that probably should be condemned, and they're looking next door at a lot and it says suitable to build guaranteed build they went to get a building permit they got denied this lot's not big enough it's not far enough from the neighbors or whatever it was so the pastor said he went to the all the local library or law city stuff and he went through all the paperwork and found a way a clause or something that said this is a buildable lot so he said he had to just sit there and plow through stuff and study and find out something and present that to whoever was denying them in the first place. So they built a four bedroom, maybe it was a three bedroom house, two story with, I think it had a loft as another bedroom. And it had two full baths and a hot tub and a good sized yard. I don't, I don't know why they said it was not buildable. They had a really good sized yard. Maybe it was because of the egress and, and um, ingress parking right away, whatever money, real estate terms are right away. Who knows what it was, but they had that. They probably had an HOA and they could rent that out. And then they went up north and took some people from church. They didn't trust me. I had money in the bank at this time. People weren't taking me seriously. They took even these people that were super low income, that didn't work, that didn't have family help, that didn't have money in the bank. And then the other elders, they took up north to look at um, land auctions in Washington State. And they bought... I thought they bought three acres, three lots, sorry. And the other couple bought one lot. And the, the poor couple, I don't think they bought anything. And I and they took some other people up there. But they refused to take me. I called them and said, I want to go with you. Um, my parents were buying in, buying lots and stuff in subdivisions through the auction for a re really affordable price. They didn't do anything with them. Neighbors probably were mad because they didn't even maintain it or cut it back. Or, you know, uh, they didn't do anything but the, just let it grow up as the trees and more trees as they already were. I got to get going. So they built three more cabins, one, then the next and the next, and they would feast and famine. They would build the cabin and pay the money and they owned a company. They were not owning it. They owned a company. They had a company that was also a cabin, log cabin out of Canada company. And the wood was cheaper and the taxes I believe was cheap, cheaper overall whatever it was 
it was cheaper with the American dollar to the can Canadian uh, product. So they had um, been contractors, or at least the, the man was a contractor, and had employees, and he said, yeah, he needed to get insurance and stuff, that the devil's trying to steal your business. You got to do everything you can to protect your workers, and you're going to slack and say, oh, yeah, do it later, do it later, do it later. I got, I got work to do, got houses to build. So they would famine when they were building and paying the money. They would get on, uh, the wife would get on, Craigslist and purchase all of the stuff from the west side of town where people bought houses, got rid of the glass top grill, sorry grill, gra glass top oven, got rid of their beds, went to garage sales and get like this rustic lodge and this person was European so this kind of, I don't want to say Scandinavian, but I'm not saying they're their country but kind of like an alpine, I don't even know where alpine but kind of that theme of skiing, lodge, cabin, European kind of um, feel like rustic. Um, I have not been to Europe, but you kind of think of a lot of the wood in the buildings. So this log cabin kind of kit homes, I think, but they looked really nice, big front windows, probably fireplace, TV. Um, they would put in the cabinets, the curtains and all that stuff. They would make it really perfect and take in the money. Well, one after another. Get cheap land, auction land, problem land, and make like it's like um, beauty from ashes. Um, bye.